couple of years ago, I visited the Immigration Museum at Ellis Island, New York. I saw a quote though on the wall that somehow stuck with me until this day. And it goes something like this. Before I moved to the US, I've heard that the streets are paved with gold. When I got here, I found out three things. First, the streets were not paved with gold. Second, the streets were not paved at all. And third, I was expected to pave them. The reason why the quote resonates with me so much is because it reminds me of how difficult a life can be when you move into a foreign country without speaking the language, having any friends, or having any knowing the culture. When I was 17 years old, I had a huge dream of moving into the US, finish school, and start a business. And now I'm happy to say that I finally fulfilled my dream of starting a business as I've ran my business for about a year. I now employ 15 people and we've just hit $1.5 million in revenue. I'm not the most seasoned entrepreneur out there, but I do want to share three key pieces of advice that have helped me succeed as a college entrepreneur. The number one thing through starting any business is to find a problem. Might, might sound easier than it is, but finding a problem is the key ingredient to starting any business. Now you might wonder, how do I find a problem? Well, start with yourself. Start with your hobbies and the things you like to do. Do you like traveling? Do you like sports? Do you like video games? Either one of these things, there's a bunch of challenges that surround that particular hobby that might be waiting for your business idea. When you do come up with a solution, you want to talk to the community and your friends and see if they would use it, if they would like that business, and how much they would pay for it. Once you get to that point, you've got something. I was lucky. When I was a sophomore in college, I was approached by a friend of mine who's asked me to buy an Under Armour t-shirt for him here in the US and ship it to the Czech Republic. I didn't really understand why he's asking me to do this, so I started doing some research. It turns out there's a lot of businesses here in the States that don't ship products internationally or don't accept foreign payments. On the other hand, I knew there's millions of people that don't have access to the same products. And so I started a business. I paid a friend of mine $100 to create a very basic website for me that would basically explain to people how to buy from the US and I would ship it to them overseas. I ran that business for a couple months and it wasn't until four months before graduation where I've heard of the FAU business plan competition and the $250,000 prize pool that you can win. At that point, I knew I'm in. The problem was, I had no idea how to write a business plan or how to present in front of a large audience. So I knew I needed to get help. I found out about the free seminars that Florida Atlantic University was offering to young startups to help them write business plans. So I started attending these seminars and that's where I came across a very strange term to me at the time that's called mentorship. The reason why I say it's strange is because mentorship is a concept of experienced business people that have been there, they have done it, they have successfully started, launched, exited businesses, and now they wanna help people, young people like myself, to get their business to the next level for free. Now that's the biggest catch. That's the thing that I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand how somebody would volunteer their time for free and not want anything for it. The reason why I don't understand it, or I didn't understand it, was because coming from a post-communist country, you get nothing for free. And then when you do, there's usually a catch. Well, there wasn't a catch this time. I met my first mentor, uh, mentor Bob Nelson, a gray-haired, 70-year-old dude who's been there, he's done it, he sold and exited his business. And he was there for me. He's helped me to write a killer presentation, a business plan, and helped me win the first place at the FAU business plan competition. Before I knew it, I was approached by the FAU to represent them at the statewide collegiate competition up in Orlando. Before I knew it, I was standing up on stage in, right next to every single major university in the state of Florida, competing for the state championship. I told the judges my story. I told them how a friend of mine has approached me with a problem. I came up with a solution and I had an existing problem and an existing business that would solve this problem. 
They loved it so much that they thought that FAU and me should win the first place in the collegiate statewide competition. And that was a great feeling. That was one of my best accomplishments so far. And at that point, I knew there's no going back. I've joined the FAU Tech Runway Accelerator Program that is designed to help young companies and young people like me to succeed in their business. And that's exactly what they've done for me. They've provided me with capital, space, and a bunch of other gray-haired mentors to help me get my business to the next level. And that brings me to my third piece of advice, which is to bootstrap. Now, bootstrapping basically means don't spend money on things you don't necessarily need. It's really easy to spend money, but it's a lot harder to make them. When you're in school, you're in the learning phase, and you should really take advantage of all the resources that are available to you on the internet, on YouTube, or anywhere else that you can imagine. You can learn the basics of basically any business online by yourself, and you don't have to spend tons of money doing it. When you're starting a business, it's extremely important to don't spend money on things you don't need and you can do yourself. When you get to the point where you validate the business, you validate your concept, and you know that you can move forward, at that point, you can start spending as, money, as much money as you want, but you can have intelligent conversation with those people because you'll know the basic Photoshop, basic accounting, basic sales and marketing. You'll know all those, and that's what helps you. The last thing that I want you to remember is to don't be afraid if it doesn't work out the first time. Thomas Edison was once asked if he was okay with the fact that he's failed a thousand times before he's developed a light bulb. He simply smiled and said, I didn't fail a thousand times. It just happened to be a thousand step process. And that's exactly how you should look at it. Your mindset has to be set on you succeeding. When you give it everything you have, when you've put your heart into it, a countless hours, it will eventually happen for you. So don't give up. You might have to pave the road to get to the goal, but when you do and you get there, it's definitely worth it. Thank you.